What's happening, folks? Welcome back to Paid to Drive. I am your host with the most. And let's jump right into this. Uh, so, I said welcome back if you are a regular subscriber, but if you're not a regular subscriber and you are an Uber Eats, Uber driver, Grubhub delivery driver, you should be subscribed because I'm trying to put more money in your pocket. But anyways, let's jump right into this. Let's try and get two likes on this video and please subscribe to this channel. Bam. Boom, self-promotion out of the way. Let's jump into this for real. So what happens if you drop a block on Grubhub or if you drop multiple blocks? For the first, I would say two and a half, three, I would say the first three months of me doing Grubhub, I was petrified to drop blocks, petrified. Reason being is I didn't know like how many I could drop, where it would affect every week, like what, you know, category I would be in. In my area, it's premiere is when you uh, get to pick your blocks for the upcoming week on Thursdays at 10 a.m. And then pro is on Fridays. And then like general is like Saturday and Sunday or something. But uh, at one point I fell down to the pro category because when I first started, I was like general or whatever it was or partner or whatever they call it. And uh, then once I proved myself to accept all my orders and attendance was good and all that, uh, I moved up to Premier. But at one point, I had booked t um, a Saturday and Sunday full, full long days. And then I realized that I had prior obligations those two days, like two family events that I had to go to. So I was screwed. So I had to drop two days worth of blocks. Uh, I called driver care. I spoke to my driver specialist. They said, look, you know, you might just drop down into the other category, um, but because you take so many blocks, you should be okay. So I ended up doing that. It put me down to the the, uh, the pro category. So I was picking my blocks on Fridays for like two days, uh, for like two weeks. It's They say it's, it's a rolling 30 day period. So like you'll be back to premiere in no time. But what happens if you drop blocks, if you fall, I believe under 90% of dropped blocks, um, that's all it does. It, uh, it'll move you to a further day to pick blocks. Um, but again, you don't want to rely on blocks for your source of income because I was doing that for far too long. Um, now, like I, like I mentioned in a previous video is that I've been scheduling less blocks and I've actually been making more money for some reason. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is truth or not, depending on your area, but drivers that are in my area that I speak to, they, a lot of them that don't work on blocks seem to get more orders. And I think that the reason, if this is actually true and isn't just a coincidence, uh, cause I don't really believe in coincidences, but, um, really when it comes down to it, it would make sense because it's like, well, Grubhub is already paying you you know, just to be there delivering for them, like as if you're a regular worker, like why would they throw you more, you know, as opposed to someone who's just freelancing, as I call it, without a block or working without a block, as they call it. And, uh, you know, you're just depending on every single order, no matter what. So that's basically what happens. If you drop a block, it doesn't really hurt you too bad. You don't want to drop too many of them. Um, but like, for instance, with me, uh, if I notice that I'm making a lot more money than the minimum, I'll make sure I drop my last block of the day so that somebody else can pick it up that only works part time. Like right now I'm doing this full time, you know, until I figure something else out. Um, so that's basically just what it comes down to. Simple as that. Um, if you drop a block, it will eventually just kind of hurt you uh, on a weekly basis of picking blocks for the upcoming week. Um, and you don't want to do it too much, like like out of control dropping blocks, like taking them and dropping them, taking them and dropping them. Because I have heard instances where people have gotten terminated for that. So be careful, just consult your driver care uh, consultants, uh, consult your driver specialist before you start going crazy so that they can kind of give you an idea. But I hope that cleared things up a little. If you have any comments or questions, of course, put them down in the comments section. Uh, I try my best to reply within 24 to 48 hours. I think I've been doing a pretty good job of doing that. But that's really all there is to it, okay? So I hope I helped you out. And uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, definitely hit the subscribe button. I'm only here to help you out and you're here to help me out. So do that. Let's, like I said, let's get, see if we can get two likes or more on this video. And that's all I got to say, folks. Thanks for spending a little time here. I hope you got educated. Uh, and that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching. Paid to drive. I will see you all of you next time in the next video. As always, make that money. Stay hustling. And 
stay hustling in. Make that money. Stay hustling and safe travels. See you next time. Peace.